Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In our today's video, we will talk about how to calculate for the surface area and volume of a rectangular prism. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, this one is under our series about solid figures. At ito yung una kong video na gagawin when it comes to the surface area and volume of a solid figure. So una natin, sinitawag natin rectangular prism. So para ma-realize natin yung pinaka uh, example ng rectangular prism, kung meron kayo sa bahay nyo, you can have a box para ma-imagine yung itsura natin ng rectangular prism. So ito, I have here an example of a box na under ng rectangular prism. So, ang target natin ngayon, later on explain ko sa inyo kung ano, kung para sa yung surface area sa yung volume natin. So, ang target natin kasi ngayon is to calculate for the surface area and volume of this rectangular prism. But before that, kailangan muna natin malaman yung formula na ginagamit in calculating the surface area and the volume. For the surface area of this rectangular prism, Meron tayong dalawang formula or isang formula. We can use this formula. 2 times L times W plus length times height plus W H. We're in yung L natin. Or ito, pwede natin simplify, simplify to as 2 L W plus 2 L H plus 2 W H. We're in yung L natin is your length. Medyo familiar naman kayo dyan. Your W is the width. Tapos yung H natin, it stands for the height of the rectangular prism. And for the volume naman, for the volume, volume or letter V, ang formula ng ginagamit natin ay simple lang naman. We have the length times width times the height. So again, yung L natin is stands for the length. Yung W natin is for the width. And again, your H is for the height. Since we already know the difference, the different formula for the surface area and area or and volume of a rectangular prism. Sorry. So punta muna natin, ano ba yung pinaka-calculate ng surface area? So imagine... You have here your rectangular prism. At alam natin, meron siyang six faces. At bawat faces na to ay mga rectangles or pwede natin calculate yung area. So yung formula natin, 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH is the same as calculating for the area of this face. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. At kapag inad natin sila, yun yung maging surface area natin. Again, ang nangyayari lang para surface area is that ina-add natin lahat ng um, area ng kanyang uh, faces. Okay? So, yung surface area tayo. And for the volume naman, yung volume naman, in a, yung pinakamadaling term na, or words na gagamitin ko is that kinakalculate ito yung total capacity ng isang rectangular prism. So, let's say for example, I will open this box or this ano, rectangular prism. And yung kinakalculate natin sa volume ay yung capacity o yung kayang ilagay sa loob ng isang rectangular prism. Okay? Yun yung difference nila. Again, yung surface area natin ay yung, uh, yung sum ng lahat ng faces ng ating rectangular prism while the volume, yung kinakalculate natin dito ay yung total capacity ng isang solid figure. So let's start solving for the surface area and volume of this given figure. In this figure, yung ating length, we can designate this one as your length. This is your L. Itong 2 cm natin, this is your W or width. Tapos yung 4 cm natin is your height. Okay? Ito yung height natin. Ngayon, hindi na siya ganun kahirap. Uh, some of the teachers are allowing the students to use their calculator. Pero naman kung hindi sila allowed, madali naman siya calculate. So let's say for example, we will solve for the surface area. Your surface area is SA, and then, ito na lang gagamitin natin ha. So, you have, 
Ay, ito na lang siguro ito. Pero bahala na kayo kung ano gusto nyo. Pero for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the first one. That is 2 times LW plus LH plus WH. So, you have 2 times. It's a matter of substitution lang naman. Diba? Your L is equal to 10 centimeters. You have 10 centimeters times your W, which is, oh, you read it, which is 2 centimeters plus your length, kasi L na to, you have 10 centimeters again, times your height, which is 4 centimeters plus, ito naman, WH tayo, your W is 2 centimeters times your height, which is 4 centimeters. Okay, simplify lang natin yung sa loob ng ating bracket. So, we have here 2 times, we know that uh, 10 centimeters times 2 centimeters, that will give you the product of 20 centimeters squared. Squared po yan eh. Plus, 10 centimeters times 4 centimeters, that is 40 centimeters squared. Plus, 2 times 4, that will give you 8 centimeter squared. And then, add natin lahat sila. This is 2 times 20 plus 40, that is 60 plus 8, that will give you 68 centimeter squared. And to finalize your answer for the surface area of this given rectangular prism, simply multiply 2 by 68, and that will give you the surface area of 136 centimeter squared. This is the correct answer for item number one. So, what do you mean? So, what do you mean? The is that the sum of the area of the, all the faces of this prism is equivalent to 136 centimeter squared. That's it for the surface area. So, let's move on with the volume. For the volume, no man, as make see the solution natin dito, we have a uh, volume is equal to length times speed times height, where in your length is equal to 10. So, we have here v is equal to length times v times height v is equal to 10 centimeters plus times sorry times your width which is 2 centimeters and then for the height that is 4 centimeters so your volume is equal to 10 times 2 that is 20 and then times 4 that will give you 80 pero Ito na, maraming siya nakakamala dito when it comes to unit of measurement sa final answer. Kapag volume kasi, 3D yan, guys, 3D. Ang mangyayari dyan, yung power ng ating uh, unit of measurement ay cubic na. So, we have your centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. That will give you cubic centimeter or centimeter cube. Okay? Makita yung difference kapag surface area, since... Um, sum siya ng dimensional, uh, two-dimensional faces ng rectangular prism, square lang yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang exponent. And then for the, for the volume naman, cubic naman tayo. So in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another example para mas ma-master nyo yung way on how to calculate the surface area and volume of a rectangular prism. Now for example number two naman, we have here the problem. Find the volume and surface area of a rectangular prism with the sides 25 feet, 10 feet, and 14 feet. So, isipin natin ngayon, sir, wala tayong given figure. So, mahihirapan po tayo mag-solve niyan or mag-calculate niyan. Uh, hindi siya ganun kahirap kasi you can assign either of, ano, kahit alin sa kanila as your length, width, and height kasi hindi maging affected yung ating uh, calculation as long as tama yung pagpapasubstitute mo. So, let's say for example, uh, your length is equal to 25 feet, okay? Tapos, your width is equal to 10 feet, by the end. And then, your height is equal to 14 feet, okay? Para pare pares tayo. Now, uh, remembering the formula of your surface area, unay natin surface area. Surface area is equal to 2 times length times width plus length times height plus 
plus your width times your height. So, since designated natin L natin as your 25 feet, that is 2, and then bracket tayo, we have 25 feet times your width, which is 10 feet. Plus your length, which is 25 feet times 14 feet plus your width is 10 feet times your height which is 14 feet okay calculate natin sila medyo kulang tayo sa space okay so that is 2 times 25 times 10 that will give you 250 feet squared plus 25 times 14 sige medyo malaki na yung number na natin kasi try natin dito 25 times 14 that is 0 2 4 8 10 5 1 ah that is tama ba ako? We have 4 times 5, that is 20, carry 2. 4 times 2, that is 8 plus 2, that is 10. 1 times 5, that is 5. 1 times 2, that will give you um, 2. And 0, 5, 350. So, 350 tayo. Okay? So, this is 350 feet. 350 feet squared plus 10 times 14 feet that is 140 feet squared is equal to ito add natin sila 250 plus 350 that is 600 plus 140 that is 740 feet squared 2 times 740 feet squared check natin eh 250 plus 350 5 6 Okay, and then multiply it by 2, that will give you the surface area of 1,480 feet squared. This is the answer for the surface area. Okay? So let's go with the volume naman. Volume medium. Kulang tayo sa space. It's equal to length times width times height. So that will give us 25 feet times 10 feet times 14 feet okay so gagamit tayong calculator para masubilis yung ating video okay this is 25 times 10 times 14 so again 25 times 10 times 14 that will give us the volume of 3000 500 feet cube. This is the correct answer for item number 2 when it comes to volume. Yeah. Um, I hope na nakuha niyo yung way natin on how to calculate for the surface area and volume of a given rectangular prism. Though napakadali na nilang calculate, it's important for us to master the ways on how to uh, do the thing of volume and surface area. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye!